Yay, my health is full and you can't get me bees because I'm going into the swamp and you do not want to be eaten by piranhas. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> but these notes are actually kind of... Sometimes you won't see them. There's especially one that I missed and it's actually not in the camera view and that's just kind of the game's fault. So you, couldn't, you can't see it. I think I'll end up with about 90 before we're done here, so that's not too bad. We got 85 so far. There's one especially, I think I already got it actually, but let's see. There's 86, 87, that's not so bad. Now right here, it's probably one of the more trickier jiggies, because you do not want to fall off at any cost, because it's a long trek back. You get a jiggy there, but you have to go across all of this while with Banjo. Don't do this with Kazooie, because it's extremely risky. Just take your time. Once you get to a certain point where you can see you can make the jump, there you go, and take it. And there's Jiggy number eight, so we got the. We already know what where to get the last two Jiggies, so we'll do that, definitely. But let's just take our time again, make sure don't fall off, because if you fall off here, it takes quite a while to get back. You'll probably take two hits about until you get back to land, so be careful of that. This one right there. That one, I, I never really saw, and sometimes I skipped over, because it, you just never see it. It's not in the camera angle's view. So you gotta be careful of that. There's a Mumble Skull back here, I believe. Yes, there is. So we got 23. Wow, more than enough. Wait, wait, no, I'm not trying to hurt you. Oh, you know what? You know what? That's it. I wasn't trying to, but you forced the hand. You forced the hand. It ain't gonna work that way, okay? <laughs> Let's go over here. I think this one requires- oh look at that, only 10! And what are you sleeping on the job for? Get up, Mumbo! The main thing, as I said, you always want to check the top of Mumbo because you can always find a surprise, like this one. So there's the second empty honeycomb, both very easy to miss. You just have to check your surroundings though. But there we already have 13, I believe 15 is the next one, all we need is two Mumbo tokens. And considering how much we got in this level... Wait. Mumbo need new boots. Only kidding. <laughs> so as you can see, we are now a small little alligator. And we can actually attack, which is a surprise. This is something that's unique to this form. Is this the only form that can actually attack? Because none of Mumbo forms can actually do that. They're very small and can't do anything. The other thing is, you can just go into these lakes and the piranhas are afraid of you. They're like, oh, we can't bite an alligator or else he'll just eat us. No! Even though we're so small and they could probably eat us instead. Whole, actually. But, what we want to do, we'll leave that Jinjo for now and go inside here. Because we could go into the snot of this alligator. Or snaz, I should say. <laughs> but here we get some more notes and also there's a Mumbo token right there. And another couple of notes. So not too shabby. We get to face this red alligator in the middle that's just standing there for some reason. Er, 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 I'm Mr. Vile's greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to chicken out. Game is simple. Eat more red yumblies than me. Ready, three, two, one, go. I always just see this guy as some, torp some type of dude with an accent. He just comes off that way for me. But the main thing, this... There are three versions of this game, and what, with all of them, you want to stay with something consistent. Try to find a row of these things. Don't just try to eat everyone you see on screen. Try to find a good row of them, because then you can get a great lead like this. If you don't find a good row, you'll always be close in the score. Like right there, there's two right next to each other. Always try to find ones like that. There you go, right? Three in a row. Like, that's pretty good. You always want to try to find a row, or otherwise you're not going to get a good lead on him. He's always going to be close to you. That's something I find. This game can be difficult if you don't go into a row of guys like this. 25, 26, there you go. So look at that lead. I'm already 8 up on him. Good. Now I don't really care at this point. I'll just get more grumblies or whatever these things are called. Grumblies. Oh, I stole it from you. There's another one and there's another one. Ha ha. 34. Whoa, I've never gotten this much. Darn. Wow, and I actually gained a life from that. I think it's because it got 35. That's pretty cool. You only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready, three, two, one, go. So just as he said, don't eat those yellow uh, key things. They look, kind of look like keys to me. But again, go for the same tactic. Just try to get them in a row. And that's actually pretty good. I'm at five already. Not bad. Oh, wait, wait. Get that good. Good. Seven. Okay, I've got a good lead on him. I just gotta... Oh, crap. Get that. Get that. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's just the thing of beauty right there. Excellent. Um, alright, but I need to... Wait, oh, they're all the way down there! Wait, I'm coming! Wait for me! Okay, good. It's 13 and 9. Oh, wait, there's one there. 
Almost missed that. Ah, oh, rat skulls. Oh no, he got them in a row. Okay, you know what? Oh shoot! Oh wait, I gotta get all of these. Oh uh, no, I missed! Oh no, I keep missing! Oh no, I miss! Oh god! Oh no, I gave back the lead. Shoot! Okay, he's closed in now. Oh no, darn it! He keeps stealing it from me. The problem is sometimes you can accidentally miss because of when you keep pressing B. Oh no! Oh no, he got those. Okay, I just need one. I just need one. For crying out loud. Oh no, he tied! No, is there one more? No! 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 Ah, Mr. Vile wins easy here. I got greeny. So all he does is he sh likes to show off and he bites you. Yeah, and he continues to do that. So you, what you have to do is just leave the area and come back. I'll probably cut back to when I get to the same point. Oh man, I'm so close! Here we are again, all right. That last one was just my fault because I missed a couple in a row. Like, I had my chances, but I just flat out missed. I just went right past it for some reason. I guess he got too good and he's like, hee hee hee, look at all the grumblies, look at all the grumblies. <laughs> or that's what they're called, right? But this time we're gonna do a lot better, there we go. I'm already a three up on him, that's not too bad. I always, always try to keep that lead, like at least a three, four distance. Never get it to within two or one because then he can start making things interesting. Just like he did the last one. I just needed one! I can't believe ties don't count. That should count for something. And there we go. I'll steal it from him. Ha ha. Now I've got a five lead. Oh wait, crap. Uh oh, he's getting a lot. Okay, 20, 41. And there's another one over here I saw. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's just... Oh, look at... Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful right there. 24 to 18. Not bad. This is definitely a lot better than last time. I'll just make sure to grab any I can. And that's not good because he's getting a lot. Oh, no. This is getting close. Uh, can I get another one? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'll just eat this. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, he challenges you to one more game though. But lucky greeny wins, must play last game, only eat what is shown at the top of screen. So this one you can eat the yellow or the reds, so you just gotta time yourself. What I like to do is if I feel like it's getting close to switching, I just stop and wait for a good row of them to appear. So right now, okay. I think, oh, oh, there, uh, darn, there were so many good ones here. Oh wait, there we go, good. Oh, shoot, I missed. Wait, seven, oh no, he has the lead. Alright. It's, oh wow, there's not a lot of yellow ones around here. I'll just wait to the red. There we go. Ah, oh, but he got it. Oh no! I ate that by accident! Oh snap! Anytime you eat that, just be careful. You don't wanna... Oh my god. Okay, uh, let's get that. You're good. I thought it was gonna switch soon, so I might as well just have waited. Oh wait, okay. I gotta get this at least. So we're tied. Oh yeah, I'm in the lead now. In your Facebook. Okay, I think it's switching to the red. Yeah, there we go. I had a feeling. Oh wait, but I missed! Why do I keep doing that? I just keep biting right past him. Oh shoot, he's got those. Oh nuts, he just caught up. Okay, I'll get the yellows in the meantime. Oh no, he's blocking me off. Okay, I, oh no, I'm down by two in five seconds. Okay, there we go. Wait, I can get this. He, yes! <laughs> oh my god, what a comeback! Woo! In your face, I bite your tail, I bite your tail. You see how it feels now? I bite your tail. Mr. Vile now has to offer a challenge of Greeny not scared. You must win the next three games to win three extra lives. But each time Greeny loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. Press A to accept or B. Well, it's only for three lives, so I'm not gonna bother. If this was for a honeycomb or something, then I might have. Mr. Vile is bad as crock of all. Look, everyone, Greeny is scurrying off. I don't care. I got your jiggy. I beat you in a challenge. It pretty much doesn't differ. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, it's just as easy, and it gets harder... And it's the same thing, really. There's no, no point in showing that. But if it was for an empty honeycomb, then I might have done it. Done it. But it's just for three extra lives, and I already have enough of them. I got nine. Oh, wow, I can't believe I pulled that off. But the last Jiggy, obviously, in the last couple of notes are over here. We can get this, and there goes the notes, and there goes the Jiggies. I'll bite the Jinjo, because apparently Piranhas don't like to. And there we go. There's all ten Jiggies. Do very nice. Ho oh, ho ho ho! I cannot believe that happened. That was really close. I thought for sure I lost when I was down by two. I just had to sneak by him a little bit to get that last one. And luckily his jaws were just good enough to get that last one from him. Because if I didn't, he probably would have gotten it in one, and I had to do all of that over again. Phew. So we are done with this area. I know there were two more mumble skulls that I just left out, but that's okay. I don't really need them. I have enough. But in case you wanted to get all of them, there were two mumble skulls in that same area where the Jinjo and the notes were with the same crocodile. So make sure you do that. But now, as I said, in order to go through that passageway, you needed to be this croc. So 
If you do- oh wait, it's Grunty. My next world is the hardest yet, and you will fail. Ah, that I'll bet. If you don't destroy this before you come here, it's just a waste of time. You'll be coming here, and you can't actually chomp your way through that ice. So make sure you do that. And if you cut off the game, I think it's still there, still broken. No, it's not. It actually responds. So do it all in the same playthrough. Don't just cut off the game and come back to it. You need to do it all in the way, and there you go. We are now the croc slinking through our way through this very narrow passageway. I mean, seriously, it's even small for him. <gasps> oh, look who it is! It's a book! Oh my god, what are books doing in video games? What in the world? Two worlds have collided! Cheat to the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Rain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away! Which lost book, finder, bear, and bird? We sure do, bag lady. Come, book boy, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code. Blue eggs on sand castle floor in treasure trove gold world. Help you it will. Birch, Mr. Cheeto. Burden and lair, all their spell books are. Them you should find. So there you go, and this is why I said we had to return to Treasure Trove at some point, because we gotta enter these cheats, and these cheats allow us to get further collectibles and just help us out in the game in general. As you can tell, blue eggs, well, what does that mean? Well, it's gonna help us with our blue egg count, it'll make it more. And there are other Cheeto books in this place, and you can imagine what they unlock as well. We've got 29, that used 8 jiggies. And there is the next world, it is Freezezy Peak. Definitely go there next, and another Mumbo transformation is actually there, so you don't have to worry that Mumbo's gone forever. <laughs> but there we are, Freeze Easy Peak, and there are three, I think, three Cheeto books in the whole one. This is the first one, and there are three Cheeto books, and we'll make sure to go out for all of them. Obviously, one is blue eggs, one's red feathers, one's golden feathers, so we'll keep helping us within that amount, and just... Instead of having to restock on every world, it'll just really help us. And that's why we had to go back to Treasure Trove Cove, because you can only enter those codes within that sandcastle. It's the only place you can do that. Doty's fate is looking grim. It's because her brother is quite dim. Oh, I thought she was going to say quite dim. Bubble magic get weak. And, of course, just bubble, hurry up and transform. Thank you. So, again, very interesting things they put in this game. Then they have little cheats like that, where you can upgrade your inventory just I really like that about this game it's just so ingenious everything is well thought of it's you wouldn't think about it but now we've got a lot to do actually now that we've gotten 400 notes in total we can actually explore the more depths of this place and trust me this place it doesn't end here it's still a lot more bigger than I thought if we go up here oh actually we can't do that we need a shock pad shock pad activate hiya very nice. You can see you need 260. We already could have gotten that by the third world, but I decided to leave it for this. And there you go! We're done! Yay! So now we've reached the upper levels of Grunty's Lair. Very interesting. You got these couple of brick walls over here. What can you do? Break them apart. <laughs> Very nice. I think... Oh, yep, there's a shock pad over there. You, these guys take two hits, but if you use that A and B move, then there you go. They die in one. If you use that... You can actually jump in that pot. Well, what will be there? Well, we'll see in a second, actually. I'll come back to it because I also got to go back to Treasure Trove Cove. So when I finish clearing up everything in this area, then I'll come back here. I think behind... Oh, yep, you can see that Mumble Skull back there. So there's number 15. That's our... So we already have enough for the next area. That's not too shabby. Go! And back here is actually some waiting boots. So you don't have to use this quite yet. In fact, I'm not going to. That just leads to the area over there and you can get across. But we don't have that area unlocked yet, so there's no point in doing it quite as yet. We might as well come back to it when we actually have things unlocked. And for now, we're going to go even further up Grunty's lair. Uh, trust me, this place unlocks a lot of stuff to do. But it won't take too long, I don't think. Right here, you can see a web... Just going up and down, what you can do is just crack it open with eggs. <laughs> and you're wondering what this is? Well, you'll find out in just a second. You'll see webs like this all over the place, and just take this. All over the place! I just remembered Crunch right there. <laughs> and Mind Over Mutant. <laughs> hey, children, we getting this junk all over the place. <laughs> and then his, his instant catchphrase, he's just like, Okay, I'm just gonna say some catchphrases. Drink lemonade, vitamin C. <laughs> I love that line. That is just awesome. But, we, as you can see there, we just got the other red pot. So now we can go 
from there to there and transport quite easily in between Gruntini's lair now, so that's nice. I won't, I won't be using that to go back though, I'll just have it there from now, because I gotta go and get the, uh, the thing in the pot and also go to Treasure Trove Cove, so it'll lead me on the way. Here we get another pot, and actually, this one I think is, yep, it's green, so it's a different color. We haven't seen this one quite as yet, but we'll see another color quite soon. And if you go on top of Grunty's hat, you can actually see that Brentilda is waiting for you right here, yeah. This one's actually kind of out of the way, I never really saw it, but here we go, let's talk to her. Yo, yo, Brentilda, talk to me! There you go. The disgusting Gruntilda had tadpoles on toast for breakfast. That actually sounds delicious, I ain't gonna lie. I've got this skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look a winner. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Then she usually has maggot pie for dinner, yuck. Port bags and finishes with cockroaches and cream for dessert. How horrid. The tadpoles and sandwich doesn't sound all that bad, though, does it? It just sounds like anchovies and sandwiches, or just sardines. It sounds like the same thing, but I guess tadpoles... Ew, never mind. What am I talking about? That sounds disgusting. Ugh. Never mind. But it's not that bad compared to that other stuff. Maggot pie and... And, uh... <laughs> cockroaches and dinner. That's just... Ugh. Who would imagine that? No wonder she's got such bad teeth. It's all bad for her. She's gotta brush her teeth more often. Jeez. Got a shock pad right there, but the more interesting thing... If you come here, you get these shoes that tell you off and be like, Heh heh, you can't use me, you're not good enough. And what you need them for is actually to race over to that flying pad over there. So you can't do anything about that quite yet, but you can get this mumble skull. So nice. <laughs> it's not too bad for you. That's the only thing I'll do for now, and as you can see, that flying pad doesn't last forever. And if you're wondering what to use that for, well, there's another entrance above us, actually. So we can use it for that, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But for now, let's head back and get the thing in the pot, because I'm pretty sure you're wondering what that is. And I think you pretty much know by now, in fact, because an entrance opened up at the top of her hat. So if we jump down here, it leads us directly in there to another jiggy. That is number five. So we're halfway done Gruntilda's Lair. Not too shabby. But still, we have a lot more to go. I think there's five more worlds for us to do. And these ones take a lot more longer than these ones do, for sure. I think there are nine worlds in the game, that's true. Yeah, nine worlds counting this one, I guess. But now we're going to go back to Treasure Trove Cove and enter that password, because I want that blue eggs unlocked, boy. <laughs> we get to go back to this awesome music. Yay, I'm a pirate again. Woo! Do 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 Very nice. So now... When you come back here, the water's not going to be drained out. Leaky's just going to be standing there again being like, I need you to patch me up with two blue eggs as usual. So it'll never remain that way. So just keep going back here, here at all times. And in fact, from now on, anytime I find Cheetah, I'll just cut back to this point. Just me entering the password in here. I just wanted to show that, you know what, you can't do this in... Hey, wait, no. Hey, you missed. No, get in there. Cutscene, stop. Stop talking. There you go. There you go. That's right, Leaky, you drain the water. Good job. I don't know how he does that, but he does somehow. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me. Put eggs in the bucket, and there you go. <laughs> so with that, we can finally enter this world, and enter blue eggs. It doesn't matter if you repeat a letter, let me just get rid of this guy first, because he's a jerk. <laughs> He'll still try to hit you, he's still mad about you solving the puzzle, which is so hard, I mean, I couldn't look to my left. But you can keep re-entering the same letters, because there are not going to be multiples of them, so you don't have to worry about that. And we'll keep in mind, as you can see, we're doing the right thing. E. Let me just make sure there's not another E. I think you can repeat the letters, right? Yeah, okay, you can. I was just making sure. So, let's hit the E again. Where's the G? There it is. And then lastly we have an S. Blue eggs. Fantastic. Wait, where are you? There you are. And then Cheetos like, 200 eggs are now yours. Now 200 is maximum too. That lousy cheat for extra eggs won't help bear. And chicken legs. <laughs> That's a good rhyme. But that's it for this one. We're going to take on Freezy Peak in the next episode. So until then, this is Mario Central signing off.